let's look at how we can create GPOs and apply it to organizational units using an example. I will demonstrate deployment of different background wallpapers to users within two different organizational units. First thing we need to do is to create a location in which we can save our wallpapers and share across our network. To do that, I will open the file explorer navigate to a location in which I can create a folder. In this example, I will be putting under the C drive on my server. However, you can put it anywhere you like as long as it is shareable across your network. I'm gonna right click, new folder, and I'm gonna call this common share files. I'm gonna right click that folder, go to properties, and under the sharing tab, I will click on advanced sharing. In here, I will select share this folder and I'm gonna change the name, share name, to remove any white space by adding uh, some characters between the white spaces. Then at the end of the file name or share name, I'm gonna put the dollar sign, which make this folder hidden within the network. Then I'm gonna click apply. And then I will go into the permissions and make sure that we have everyone selected with read access. We do not need any more access than this. So we only need everyone in this domain to have just the read access so that when the GPO pull information from this folder, it can read the wallpapers and apply accordingly. So once it's done, you're gonna click OK, OK, and close. Then I will go in the here. The next thing we will do is to add the wallpapers in here. So I have already created two different wallpapers. I'm simply gonna copy and paste them. So I have two wallpapers available to use. So one of the wallpapers called the GPO underscore content creation wallpaper. If I double click, it looks like that. And the other one called IT wallpaper. If you double click that one, I will see, you can see that. So there's two different wallpapers. Now we're gonna apply these wallpapers to our group policy that we will be creating uh, in our next step. So the first thing we're going to do is to go into the C drive in here and I'm gonna copy the share path. So I'm gonna go properties, sharing, and I'm simply gonna copy this path And the next thing I'm going to do is to open our group policy management console. To do that, I will open the server manager, go to tools and open group policy management. And on this console, you remember from my previous videos, we had NetIT Geek organizational unit under our sanuja.local domain and in here, we have a couple of different departments, accounting, content creation, human resources, IT, social media. I'm gonna create two group policies, one for the content creation group or organizational unit in this situation, and the other one for the information technology organizational unit. So these are two different departments. So for the first one, I'm gonna select content creation organizational unit, right click, and I'm gonna select the option called create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And I'm gonna name this the content creation wallpaper. You can call it whatever you like. I'm gonna call it content creation wallpaper. I'm gonna click okay. And now we have a GPO that is called content creation dash wallpaper attached to content creation organizational unit. If you remember from my previous video, if we go to the group policy objects down here, you can see it has automatically added in here as well, content creation dash wallpaper. To add the wallpaper policy in here, what we will do is to select that content creation wallpaper, right click, edit, and it will open the group policy management editor. In here, on the left-hand pane, 
we will navigate to user configuration section under policies under windows uh, administrative uh, templates right here desktop under desktop uh, folder we have an option called desktop wallpaper and this is what we gonna update this is the policy we will set so currently it is not set there so what we're gonna do we're gonna double click on that and it'll open the desktop wallpaper policy options we're gonna change this from not configure to enable and in here we will paste the path in which where we have created that common share folder then after that path we're gonna need to enter the file name so we are creating this for the content creation wallpaper group so we're gonna copy that name and I know it's a jpeg so dot jpg and then we have the option for the style how we're gonna apply this wallpaper so we can center it we can fill it fit it span it or stretch it so I'm gonna go with the stretch because that would be the best option for different screen resolutions and notice that not only you can use a wallpaper that is located uh, on a network path you can also put a wallpaper on a local path as well but for most uh, network administrators system administrators we will be using we will be using the network path uh, located uh, wallpaper then i'm going to click apply and okay and now we have the desktop wallpaper set you can also put a comment in here if you would like to put a comment and if you add a comment for example let's say this is a test notice that comment will appear um, in here saying yes we have a comment in here so the next user comes in and when you double click on it they can read the comment now we have apply that policy uh, we can close this group policy management editor and you can follow the same process for our IT group but with a different uh, you know wallpaper that we have created so I'm gonna quickly go through that right now Once you have created those two policies, you can see they are attached to now content creation policy, uh, policy is attached to the content creation organizational unit and the IT one is attached to the IT organizational unit and all those uh, group policies that we have created shows up under group policy objects uh, below underneath here right here. So now we have done that. Let's go and see if we can log in to one of the users associated with each of these organizational unit and see those different wallpapers. So on my Windows 11 machine, I have the user Abe Sekera already in here and he is belonging to the organizational unit called content creation. So he's in the department of content creation. So I will log in to that his account. And as you can see, he has this wallpaper now called net it geeks content creation and you can see he has uh, that specific organizational unit related uh, the group policy gpo applied to his account now let's log out and log back in with a user who is associated with the it group so I'm going to go other user and this time we will log in with the Sanuja Sena Nayaka account that is attached to the IT organizational unit. So SAN001 
as you can see, Sanuja has a new different wallpaper that's called Net IT Geek, uh, IT department wallpaper, and it's blue because he's belonging to a different organizational unit than the previous user. And that's the end of this lecture. If you like these type of demonstrations, please thumbs up my video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a nice day.